Your company connects retailers like Walmart and Home Depot with suppliers to fulfill orders and organize deliveries. What kind of activity have you been seeing over the last few weeks? So we've been seeing uh, dramatic uh, rises in the you know volume of orders that are going through. Certainly e-commerce is becoming a significant uh, portion of this year's shopping. Um, it's become an increasingly uh, greater and greater proportion each year. Just this year uh, with COVID, uh, you know, people aren't going to the stores. The stores aren't hosting, you know, uh, midnight parties for big screen TVs the way that they were. So everything is really moving online into a digital uh, commerce situation. Well, as someone who's probably doing 100% of holiday shopping online, um, you know, it's it's been interesting to see the trends I've noticing, you know, delivery times being delayed. I'm curious what the biggest challenges have been of pulling off all of this additional traffic. Yeah, the challenge is going to be delivery. I think, uh, you know, you're saying you're seeing delays. I think we're gonna see greater and greater delays in the next couple of weeks. Um, everyone is, you know, uh, tends to procrastinate and this year is probably no different. Um, the difference this year is that warehouses are gonna be stretched to the max. Uh, the carriers are going to be stretched to the max. So, you know, uh, some of the major carriers have already told retailers that they're not going to be making certain pickup runs in their stores. Um, so uh, others are being limited in, into how much they can actually ship. So if you can imagine, you know, uh, with COVID, the warehouses are going to have fewer people in them because of distancing. So the warehouses are going to have less throughput. The trucks are going to be maxed out. And so everything is going to be uh, taxed this year for sure. Now, a vaccine is around the corner, but it's going to take some time to roll out. I'm curious, what is your outlook on the future of physical retail after we come out of this? Sure. So I think, you know, these kind of events uh, have a tendency to change things and to persist uh, those behaviors. Uh, I think that we're going to, you know, most of us probably didn't do curbside pickup. Uh, most of us probably didn't do grocery delivery. Um, you know, those kinds of services are now becoming part of our lives. And in much the same way, once you fly first class, you probably don't enjoy, enjoy flying uh, coach as much as you did. And if you have to drive, uh, coach was good at one point. So, I mean, you get used to these things. You get used to grocery pickup. You get used to curbside delivery. And, and I think that these uh, trends are going to persist. And I think online commerce is going to continue to persist. Um, all commerce is becoming digital commerce. You can't even order a pizza without, you know, picking up your phone. Well, it's certainly a good time to be in the online commerce business. And this week was a huge week for IPOs. Commerce Hub is on the list of, of companies we should be watching to go public. I know Insight Partners took a big stake in the company. You've hired Morgan Stanley to explore those options. Um, where, where is Commerce Hub on that journey at this point? Do you have a timeline to go public? Um, well, I don't have an actual timeline to go public, but I can tell you we did a recent acquisition uh, and uh, we also just uh, took on, as you said, a major investment from Insight Partners. So, you know, the company is at a, at a great uh, inflection point. We've been building for years and I think drop shipping and e-commerce is really coming into uh, its own at this time. And uh, Insight Partners are a great partner to really help us scale uh, from this point to, to the next level. So we're excited about it. So what are the top priorities? What are the top priorities then in, in 2021? Well, you know, from a from a e-commerce e perspective, obviously Amazon has a, a tremendous leg up. They own their own uh, physical facilities. They've got tremendous ability to uh, route orders from multiple locations to get timely delivery. Other retailers are catching up. I think, you know, we're going to be focused on really trying to continue to digitize the supply chain, making it easier for retailers to be able to offer you know, an endless aisle of products, but to be able to achieve a customer experience where they can mimic what Amazon is doing, one and two day delivery without standing service. Okay.